HTP is an organic porous material which will encapsulate and solidify any petroleum or oil liquids with a natural capillary action immediately on contact. The tub on the right is filled with one pound of HTP. The tub on the left with one pound of a clay absorbent. We then pour one quart of 30 weight motor oil into each tub. You'll get the same results on diesel fuel, gasoline, gear oil, hydraulic oil, waste oil, brake fluid, and cutting oils. Basically, any oil-based liquid. We then begin to mix the HTP into the oil. And as you will clearly see, the oil is immediately transformed into a fluffy, dry substance and leaves a clean, dry surface. Now that's performance. On the clay absorbent side, the results are obvious. Most of the oil is still present. In fact, the amount of clay used to absorb most of the one quart of oil was as much as 10 pounds and still left an oily and messy residue. In this test, a flour sifter is used, partially filling it with HTP. Transmission fluid is then poured into the HTP. To show the non-leaching ability of HTP, Water is then poured into the sifter. This also shows the effectiveness of HTP even in rainy conditions for field spills. A similar test was conducted by an independent laboratory for leachability and the results showed no detection of oil leaching once absorbed with HTP. The wastewater is then captured into a styrofoam cup. The pure white color of the styrofoam would easily show any traces of the transmission fluid. As you can see, the water in the glass is crystal clear and there are no visible traces of transmission fluid left in the glass. When the HTP is released from the sifter, it remains dry, but the transmission fluid is 100% solidified and encapsulated. When the same test was attempted with clay absorbent, not only is the water absorbed into the clay, but the transmission fluid leaked out, indicating ineffective results. Wastewater that is collected into the glass has visible presence of transmission fluid. This would not help on field spills on wet or rainy conditions. You can use as much as a 50 pound bag of clay to absorb one quart of oil if the spill was on a wet surface or in rainy conditions. We pour motor oil on water and sprinkle HTP on top of the oil. And as you can see, HTP immediately encapsulates and solidifies the oil out of the water with no oil residue remaining. Here, we're going to demonstrate the superior performance of HTP oil containment socks versus polypropylene oil containment socks. They're both four feet by three inches and seemingly both look alike. But the difference is the material that's inside the sock. Here we're demonstrating a diesel fuel spill, using HTP loose product to seal the gap on each sock to prevent any leakage. We first pour diesel fuel into the HTP containment sock area. We use diesel fuel to illustrate how effective HTP containment socks would be even on a lightly viscous petroleum spill. As you can see, 100% containment is visible with no leaking occurring, leaving a safer and cleaner environment and thus reducing cleanup costs. Then we pour diesel fuel into the polypropylene sock area. As you can clearly see, the diesel immediately started leaking out around the entire polypropylene containment area, thus creating a hazard and unsafe condition, plus increasing material cleanup costs and labor. Results after one minute clearly shows the superior performance of the HTP containment sock even after three quarts of diesel fuel poured, 100% containment is clearly visible versus only a half quart absorption on the polypropylene sock with almost no containment. Which oil containment sock would you use for your operations? HTP is a must to have on hand for field spills on any type of surface and in any weather condition. HTP can also save you a lot of money in cleanup costs on material and labor, especially if the spill occurs near storm drains, near grass and soil, or on roadways in and around sensitive environments.